Wacker Noisen HI400 HDG gas pressure setup. Always read and understand the operator's manual and safety information before operating the machine. Only a licensed professional gas technician shall perform installation, fuel supply connection, setup, adjustment, and testing of gas lines. Before starting, assure that the gas selector valve is in the proper position for the appropriate fuel being used. Reference the setting the gas selector valve of the operator's manual for more information. With the gas supply valve turned off, remove the plug and install a barb test adapter. Attach the hose from your manometer to the barbed fitting and open the supply valve. Observe your static gas pressure supply. Start the machine and observe your dynamic gas pressure. The pressure should drop slightly but remain consistent and stable during machine operation. Dynamic gas pressure for natural gas applications must be between 7 and 10 inches of water column. For LP applications, Dynamic gas pressure must be between 8 and 13 inches of water column. Once dynamic gas pressure has been verified, turn the gas supply valve off. Remove the manometer and the barb test adapter and reinstall the plug. With the machine turned off, locate the test port on the gas valve. Turn the screw inside counterclockwise to open. Attach the manometer hose. Start the machine and check the burner gas pressure. Let the machine run and stabilize before making any adjustments. For natural gas applications, the burner pressure should be set at 6.4 inches of water column. For LP applications, the burner pressure should be set at 6.52 inches of water column. To reduce burner gas pressure, turn the adjustment screw clockwise. To increase burner gas pressure, turn the adjustment screw counterclockwise. For this example, we're setting gas pressure at 6.4 inches of water column for natural gas. Run the machine and verify that the gas pressure has been set properly. After burner gas pressure is verified to be correct, remove your manometer and hose. Turn the screw on the test port clockwise to close.